Hey, you're watching DJ Diary and my name is DJ Echo. DJ Diary is an online series where we talk about the issues that DJs may face. And for today's DJ Diary, we're going to talk about entry-level equipment for entry-level DJs. For myself, I started with Pioneer DJ because I was a contestant in Mix Us Happy 2015. As a contestant of Mix Us Happy 2015, my training was provided by DJ Center as well as Pioneer DJ and we're all using Serato DJ intro. As an entry level controller, I think that we go through is exactly what you need to get yourself started as a DJ. Eventually, I moved on to use an SR, CDJs, and even vinyl. But for today, we're going to talk about what are the options that an entry level DJ could look at. Now, there are a lot of different brands of controllers out there that you could use and a lot of people might even tell you to go straight for the CDJs. The most important factor that you should look at when you're an entry level DJ is what you could actually afford. DJing just like any other hobby or job has an element of investment which you have to take into consideration when you're buying gear. Your first piece of equipment should be something you should be able to carry on your Same own, set up on, on your radio. own and be able to afford within Same a month of your own salary. When it comes to the gigging and programs, you should look into DBS programs with subscription now, services to allow you to afford MTV what you can. The, the program that I suggest to all my students is Recordbox DJ. Recordbox DJ is useful because it has everything that you need in Serato including video DJ and it allows you to keep all your cue points in case one day you're moving to USBs with CDJs. It allows you to collate all the meta information into one program. Recordbox also includes a whole bunch of new tricks like this. If you like what you see, link in the description below. Remember to follow DJ Mass. Now as an entry level DJ, one of the things I can't emphasize enough is that you should spend within your means. Gear should not be something you spend all your money on and can't use, it should be something you can use and be creative about. Your equipment should not dictate the level of skill you have, neither should you let your lack of equipment deter you from being creative. Being part of the Mix Us Happy program, I've seen amazing things done with entry level equipment. And that concludes this episode of DJ Diary. If you have any comments or suggestions, do remember to leave it in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe. Right. Sick now.